How can you best be prepared for a question and answer period? The answer to that question will be found in this Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. An area of concern for many speakers is the question and answer period. If you've seen other videos of mine, you know, first of all, you should never conclude with questions and answers. You want the last thing the audience hears to be something powerful from you, a quote, a statement, a story. So always position that question and answer period before your conclusion. But here's a tip I got recently that's powerful. Anticipate the questions people will ask you and your Q&A period should go a lot smoother. For example, as a presentation skills coach, I know that people are almost always going to ask me these three questions. Number one, how do I get rid of nerves? Number two, what do I do if I forget my, what I was going to say? And number three, how do I stop saying the words, um, ah, so, all those killer fillers we call them. I know that those questions are going to come up most of the time. I've answered them enough. I'm prepared for those. Will you occasionally get a question out of left field? Absolutely. It's going to happen. And that's another reason why we don't want to conclude on questions and answers. You don't want that last crazy question to be the last thing people remember. But most of the time, the questions are always going to be in those categories for me as a speech coach or presenter to help you prepare for your next Q&A session. Write down the top three to five concerns that people have about your topic. Internalize those issues and just have them ready because you know that most people are going to ask those questions virtually every time you present. Talk with you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.